bungled break off shot from Joe. Seventeen. This is the fourth group that David Gilbert has played in, and uh, by winning that last frame. 24. He's taken his total earnings from the competition to eight thousand pounds. Twenty-five. With more to come this evening, and the possibility of substantially increasing it if he gets into the winners group. Six reds, six blacks. Seven. Looking at where all the reds are, this is the sort of position in which one four sevens are made. Sixty four. Can he get through to his intended next red? sure he would play it if he could. Sixty-five. 
65. It turned out that he could. Even if Gilbert manages to take his 15 red blacks, there could be difficulty later on. 72. Getting from blue to pink. 73. Another target, an earlier target. 80. Is uh, the highest break price for the group, which is 500 pounds, and which currently stands to Dominic Dale's 125. Eighty-one. I gather that uh, in the eighty-eight last match, which I didn't see, John Higgins made a break of one hundred and thirty-six. So that is the front runner. I believe the lower red goes to left middle. Gilbert has never made a maximum in competition so his heart is bound to be beating a little faster than normal 113 122 shouldn't be a problem with green or brown but Looks as if it's going to require a deep screw with the rest from blue to pink. 
would have been better yeah. if he got the cue ball a little closer to the side cushion and he would have been able to play the shot without the aid of any extensions on the other hand the extra weight on the extension on his cue might be a help in getting the necessary power into the shot Hit it pretty well, but he's not finished at the ideal angle on the pink. He's got position by the scenic route. It's this for a maximum. One hundred forty seven. Well done. David Gilbert. Just a shame there's no crowd to give a, a roar of acclamation, but uh, everybody's very pleased for him. So, that secures the £500 highest break prize for the group, and it also gives him a 2-1 lead.